Hi everybody, this is Lindsay from windingroadcrochet.com and today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to finish up your blanket sloth. For this part of the pattern you're going to need to know how to chain, single crochet, half double crochet, and slip stitch, and of course you can find the written pattern link in the description box below. So in our last video we finished the body of our sloth with the crocheted in different color face. Now we are going to work on the extra details. We haven't stuffed it yet. We haven't closed it up yet. We're going to wait to do that. Right now we're going to make the eye patches first. So we'll make little eye patches and then use some safety eyes to hold them on. And let's go ahead and get started with those eye patches. So just take a darker color yarn or a lighter color if you're doing a really dark colored sloth, either will work, but just a nice accent color. Leave a nice long tail. We're still using the size L crochet hook here. And we're gonna start with a chain five. And the eye patch is just one quick row. So now we are going to half double crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then we are going to single crochet into the next two stitches, or two chains. One single crochet, two single crochet, and then the very last chain we're just going to do a slip stitch. And that is your little eye patch. You're going to need to make two of these. Just clip another long tail because we will use these tails to sew it onto the face. Just gonna yarn over with our working yarn, pull through to fasten this off. You have a cute little eye patch. Just grab our face here. You can see how we're just going to sew this right in place on our face. We'll use these two tails to sew it in place, and then we're also going to use our safety eye to secure that. We have these cute little sparkly eye, kind of beanie baby safety eyes that I got from Joann's. And it's got a washer clip on the back, so I'm not gonna show you how to put these in because I actually have to use a pair of pliers to do so, but I would just take this and push it through some of the stitches that we worked here and then through the piece and you put the washer on the inside and then as I said I have to use some pliers to squeeze that close but that's going to hold that section down and then you're just going to use your tails to sew up the rest of the eye. So make another eye and go ahead and get them attached. Before we make our arms and our legs you're going to want to make your toes. We will need 12 toes total. And to do this, we're going to use a size J crochet hook. Leave a tail at the end to help sew. And to get started, we are going to chain four. And these are really quick and easy to make, even though there's a lot of them. So chain four, and then slip stitch to the second chain from the hook and single crochet in the next two stitches. One single crochet and two single crochet. And there is your toe. You're going to clip this thread yarn over and pull it through your last stitch leaving a bit of a tail because we're going to use those tails to attach it to our arms and our legs. But there is your kind of curved toe. So go ahead and get 12 of these made up. Moving on to the next piece, we are going to be making the legs of our sloth. I'm going to be using the two colors, the medium pink and the light pink. And this is because I thought I was going to run out of the medium pink color, but I also wanted to give you ideas on how to use all the colors in either the striped yarn or the ombre yarn. And the reason for using the lighter tone color is because a lot of animals, the palms of their hands and the bottom of their feet are going to be a lighter tone. 
and so we're going to do just one or two rows in the lighter tone and then switch over to the pink in just a minute. You're also going to need three of your toes ready to go so we can attach those as we are crocheting. So let's get a slip knot and I am back to using the eight millimeter hook for this. And these work up super fast. So even though there's a lot of parts, it's not a big deal. So we are going to chain four. And then working in the second chain from the hook, we are going to single crochet, one single crochet into the three chain. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and then turning so that we're working down the other side of the chain, we'll work another three single crochet. So this is our number four, number five, and number six. So it's only six single crochet in the row, and you're going to want to slip stitch to the first single crochet of this row. And then from this point, I am going to change colors. So this is where I'm going to change colors, and I'm just doing this by yarning over and chaining up with the medium pink color. And for row two and three, it's real simple. We're just going to single crochet in every stitch from the last row and slip stitch at the end of the row. So just go around and single crochet in the six stitches of the previous row and slip stitch at the end of the row. So we're going to slip stitch at the end of row two and don't worry about these tails here. What I like to do for the legs and for the arms is just to use those as my stuffing and stuff them into the leg. That way we can avoid needing to use polyfill for this project or at least for this part of the project. Also when we attach the toes in just a minute, we'll use the ends of those as well instead of a polyfill for the legs. So I'm turning chain one and then I'm just going to single crochet around the edge again. And that will be the last row for our legs. It's a really quick, quick piece to make. And you will need to make two. Our sloth has two little legs on the back and then we'll make the arms. So we just finished up there that quick and we'll slip stitch. We'll clip our thread. Make sure you leave a decent amount because we will use this to sew onto the body. Not too much if you're trying to do this all in one color. Be somewhat conservative, but yet at the same time leave enough to be able to sew this onto the body of the sloth. Now you can definitely sew the toes onto this, the foot of the sloth. That is completely fine. But what I do, since we're using this thick yarn, I actually like to just tie them onto the sloth. So I use my hook and grab one side of the yarn, one of the tails, pull it through, put my hook through again, kind of paying attention to where you do it so that the toes line up the way you want them to, but I pull that tail through. I'm gonna turn this inside out so I can see what's going on on the inside. And then taking these two tails, I'm just going to knot them together to hold everything in place. Second knot, turn it inside out to take a look at it. You can definitely block these toes to get them to curve a little more the way you want them to. But I'll add my other two toes, clip my yarn here, and then stuff it into the body of this little leg here and that'll be my stuffing and we'll sew it onto the body of the sloth. And when we position this on the sloth, you want to position it like he's sitting down. You don't want to put it directly under the sloth but actually sticking out the front a little bit. That way he'll look like he's sitting down and if you lay him on his back he'll look like he's hanging a little bit better. So we're moving right along into making the arms. We'll make two arms for our sloth and this is the last piece that we need to make. It's going to be exactly like we did the 
the legs just a little bit longer. We're chaining four and working six single crochet around this chain. So three single crochet on the first side. Turn so we're going to work down the other side of the chain and we'll work another three single crochet down this side of the chain. number three and we'll slip stitch to the very first single crochet that we made. Chain one and turn. Though turning is completely optional for this part of the project but I'm just used to turning. And then we're going to work single six single crochet around this row. No increases, no decreases. Just keep working flat rows. So we finished row two and this is where I'm going to change over to the medium color yarn again. And this is also where I would go ahead and add the fingers to the hand of the sloth. It does make it a little more difficult having all those yarn threads to work into um, as we're working the rest of the rows, but I definitely think it's worth it. I prefer tying it on than having to sew it on but it's whatever you prefer. We're doing this exactly the same way as we did the toes. Just pulling it through, knotting it up. Check it to make sure it's positioned the way you want it before you start knotting. Work a few knots, clip off your excess yarn, and then we'll finish up our the arm of our sloth. So all the fingers are attached now and we will switch over to the medium yarn, the medium pink. Again, I, when I finally finished this whole project, I had enough of that medium pink to do the whole project. I just didn't think I was going to, so this is why I did it this way. But it also gives you an idea of what you can do if you are not sure if you're going to have enough yarn. Just gives you a few ways to kind of get around and continue to be able to make your sloth. This is my second sloth out of the same skein of yarn. So row three, four, five, and six, I'm just going to work around each row. Six single crochet slip stitch at the end with this medium pink yarn and then I will show you what we're going to change up just a little bit on row seven. So we've made it to row seven and row seven we're going to chain one and turn and work the first three single crochet. This is going to give us a half row so that when we sew the arm onto the sloth, it's going to be angled forward for sticking straight out of the sloth. And it kind of will angle it forward so it kind of looks like it's giving you a hug or it's reaching up to hang from a branch. So just single crochet in the first three and fasten off, leaving enough of a tail so you can sew it onto the body of the sloth. So here is our finished arm and I can show you here I had plenty of pink left over. I, I definitely could have made the, the whole arm pink. So if you have the same quantity that I show in the very first video, if you have that same yardage or weight, you can definitely get two sl full sloths out of one. So here you can see I have the eyes already attached. I did put them a little bit farther apart than my original sloth. This is the other sloth that I made out of this exact same skein of yarn. Um, I used the darker tones with this sloth. And his cute little eyes. This one's going to have his eyes just a little bit further apart just to make it um, a little different. We're going to use these tails here to sew around the edge of the eyes. Curve them down a little bit because that's how a sloth has his eye patches. And then before we can stuff this sloth, we need to give him a nose and a mouth, or her. 
This is probably a her, but it could be a him. Not sure. Not sure yet. We'll see what my kids name it. So, go ahead and take the same colors we're using for the eye patches, though you can use whatever color you happen to have on hand that you want to use that will accent that face patch. And we are going to sew a triangle-like nose. And to do that, we're going to sew three pieces apart with each, each strip being a little bit more narrow than the strip before. So reaching into the face, another option is to not completely finish the body and work and embroider in the face before you finish up the body. That's an option, but that's not what I'm doing here. So working almost in between the eyes, I'm going to work a spot that's about an inch apart and then underneath it, pull my yarn out underneath, not quite as wide as that first strip. And then when I put my needle back in, I'm going to fall just a little short of where that first strip landed or ended. See, each, each strand I'm doing is just a little bit further in so that I can make a bit of a triangle nose. And the nice thing about the blanket yarn is because it's fuss, fuzzy, you can kind of reshape the nose a little bit. Now I'm bringing my needle down now that the nose is finished up. And I'm going to make just a V for the little sloth smile. So we're just going to make a V shape, go off to the side, go straight across so the top of our mouth is pretty even, pull through, and then go right back through that same center point. Pull it back through the center. There we go. Now our sloth has a cute little smile. So now from here, you're just going to sew down the eye patches, stuff the body, and sew up the top. Once everything is stuffed, you can just take your arms and you're going to place them on the side of the body with that flap coming on the top side. And then the way you're going to sew it on is so that the arms are coming out towards the front of the body as if it's going to give someone a hug kind of like I did here on this sloth. His arms are coming forward as if to give the person he's going to be living with a hug. And then the feet, as I said again, it's on the front of the body sticking straight out as if he's sitting or if he has his legs hanging upward or pointing upward so he can hang onto a branch. And that would complete your sloth. Just use your tails everywhere to sew up the edges. We left ourselves nice tails so that we don't have to use any more yarn. So I really hope you enjoyed this pattern. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments below what else you'd like to see video tutorials for.